Welcome to Raiders Talk of the Nation. I'm your host, Christine Leahy. For years, Las Vegas has been known as the entertainment capital of the world to many who have grown to love the city for its superstar-studded lineup of residencies. Now, one of the newest shows to hit the strip is bringing some of the biggest acts from the popular competition series, America's Got Talent, to the Luxor. I was able to stop by rehearsals and meet the cast. Hi, it is hello, so good hello. to meet you, Christine. Nice to meet you, Christine. Tommy. Tommy. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I am so excited to get talking to you, but you have an interesting story about the way that you met. Please tell me. So by the way, we met almost exactly 10 years yes. ago. Wow. That was the very first time in Austria for a for let's say Austria's Got Talent. That was the very first time when okay, we met. Okay. And we figured out pretty quick uh, that we have a kind of special connection. And since that, we're working on it, we're bringing it on stage, and now we're here in Las Vegas and showing it every night to the audience. How did you figure out that you were able to both read minds and then be so <laughs> in tune with each other? I think it's just the um, fascination about um, human phenomenons, like you think of a friend and suddenly the person calls and we were both fascinated by that, um, but not together, mm -hmm. uh, separate, but then when we met we figured out, okay, we kind of have the same fascination for things and the same plan, so why not combine it? And it worked out pretty well, I and mean, it yeah. still does. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm dying to see this work in we action. We should try something, yes, right? Yes, can we? Yeah. Please welcome our little dog, Mr. Kony Hundini. Yeah. Hi, Kony. Hi, Kony. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Yeah, and since he's part of the clairvoyance, of yeah. course, he has to do mind reading too. Okay. Yes. Because I every... need to train my pup to do this. <laughs> Everything's changed since he's in the show. You know, you think we're the stars in the show. After the show, there will be champagne, flowers, chocolate, whatever. Nope, but it's actually... No. Actually, bones. it's bones, dog treats, and all <laughs> that stuff. Um, I but get it. he got a really awkward present last year. Do you remember? Yes, you it have was it in here, France. Right? Um, he got, if you believe it or not, he got a book. Oh, yep. okay. And it's a really book for a dog. Awkward, but we thought. <laughs> Why not putting into it into our show? Yes, okay. and the, the cool thing is, first of all, it's in French. Um, I mean, he cannot read, but French, I don't know. <laughs> and it's about celebrities. There okay. are people in there, we can have a look like uh, Lindsay Lohan, Mike Jagger, Russell Crowe, mm -hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio, and so on, Elvis Presley, and so on. Okay. And he will read your mind now. Okay, okay therefore, do me Great. a favor, Coney, look into her eyes. Look into her, okay, he needs a little focus for that. He did. Look, look into her eyes, look into her eyes. Yes, good boy, good boy. Now, Christine, look into his eyes. Look, no okay. problem. You need some focus for that, I nope. think. Here, look into his eyes. Look, good girl, good no, girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> but this book actually, <laughs> we'll have a look. It has 100. Uh, 20, 130 pages, okay. 130 pages. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, name any number between 1 and 130, whatever you like. Out loud? Yes. 99. 99. You will stick with that page or you want to change it? I'll stick with it. Are you sure? Yes. Nothing is set up, you haven't talked to Kony before? Well, no, sadly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, 99 you said, not 30, that would be Gerard Depardieu, okay? 50, Justin Timberlake, 96 and 97. And on page number 99 it is, can you read it out for us? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Very nice. Beautiful. Uh, do you think Kony was able to, to read your mind? Or maybe to even well, influence you. I definitely think so. I, I have to show you something. Here, there is his little, his little tag, his name tag. We'll take it off, and there is his name engraved in it. You can touch it. It's really in there, yep. right? With your finger. Yep, it's it says there. Mr. Coney Hundini. That's his full yes. name. And you selected what was it? Celine, Celine Dion. Dion. But he had like a feeling because he he has a favorite singer, and that's not anyone. It is. Oh. Celine Dion! My heart will go on! Yes. We and, on and it's and engraved on. in here! That is very cool! Kony, wow. such a great job, such a good boy. And you, you guys will get passed your down your traits right. oh. to the pup, huh? Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> very cute. So if I'm sitting in the audience, someone else is here, what should they expect to see from you guys, other than this amazing thing that I just saw? <laughs> <laughs> well, they can experience every night something different. So even if they come multiple times, it will be different each yes. time. Okay. And yeah, the magic will happen in their minds, in their hands, and on their cell phones. Uh, because in, cell phones. in yes. our show, we involve everyone here in the audience. Wow. So that's uh, really nice, and we like it because it's changing for us also every night. And Mr. Coney comes too. Yes, yes. and he's in the 
the show now and he is very excited he about that. He loves being right? on stage, yeah. Is he getting paid in bones? Yes, uh, yeah. treats and bones. He's <laughs> he's also, he's getting paid right away, as you just yeah. said. <laughs> he's <laughs> actually, he's the only one getting paid during the act. Oh, <laughs> well, they all deserve to. It was so great to meet you guys. Stay Thank nice you so and much. to me. And that was just the beginning of our behind the scenes tour of rehearsals. Coming up, I'll meet the show's hilarious host. I lost to a 12 year old, okay? Ooh. A 12 year old ventriloquist, <laughs> she didn't open her mouth the whole time. That's like getting knocked out by someone with no arms. Newly crowned champ. Typically in a card trick, the magician's like, look at all these cards, shuffle them up. I'm yeah. not doing that. And the man who captured the hearts of the world with his amazing story and voice. Say where down we go. Oh, cause they will run you down, down to your crown. Oh, way down we go. Raiders Talk of the Nation is brought to you by Intermountain Healthcare, official health partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Discover your inner champ at raiders.com slash champ. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, non-stop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. And by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation, made to chill. He's the newest champ of the hit show America's Got Talent with his magic and personal story touching the hearts of not just the judges, but also the fans. And while Dustin Tavella didn't give away all of his secrets, he did give me a look at his special gift with the help of his friend and host of AGT Live, comedian Preacher Lawson. You got one? Oh, hey, yeah. You keep showing me. Hello. Oh, I didn't know hey. you were coming. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how you doing? Sorry to surprise you there. Such a surprise. We, oh, you didn't know I was coming? Not at all. This is great. No, 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 one, told, no one told us anything. No one we're told us. Yeah, we're here. just talking. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, figured <laughs> I'd crash your rehearsal. Yeah, we do this every Saturday. Yep. You, oh, you just hang out and talk? Yeah, yeah. my card table. How are you doing? Talk about video games. I'm great. How are you guys doing? I'm great. Uh, magic, I yes. hear, is your strong suit. Actually, I kind of would love, I would love to see some magic. Let's right do it. Right off the bat. Let's start Let's with some magic. All right, all right, so, um... Typically in a card trick, the magician's like, look at all these cards, shuffle them up. I'm yeah. not doing that. All right. I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Also, Is sometimes- Is that because you have them already rigged? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Cool. I have them rigged in a very particular order <laughs> um, because of a decision that I think you're about to make. Oh, all, all right. right. So that's why you're not allowed to see them yet. You're mind reading. You're not allowed to know what's happening. And my prediction is going right here because I also don't want you to think I like did something later, all right? Okay. Keep this as fair as possible. Um, the first thing I want you to do is I just want you to push one of these cards toward me and I want you to make sure it's not the one that I want you to push towards me. <laughs> wow. No pressure. Yeah, yeah no, no pressure. pressure. It's like a psychological thing sure? here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah this like is the one. Pressure. That one? Yeah. Go ahead. Push it towards you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do this actually. Hold on to this. Okay. Don't look at it yet. All right. We're keeping it safe in there. Um, I want to show you my prediction before we do anything. It says you will pick the king. I'm gonna get one more out of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of hearts. Okay. Look at your card. It's not the king of hearts. <laughs> yeah, like I oh, wait. Huh? <laughs> she tried to hide it. She was like, no, I'm gonna I know. She didn't want to. Here, here, look. Well, I forgot. Hold on. Look. Actually. Okay. Not. You will not pick oh. the king. <laughs> <laughs> I was Good right. One. Thanks, yes, guys. Right. Right. Well, no, but look, look, look. If you, hold on, hold on. So if you would have picked one more over, if you would have changed your mind, you yeah. actually would have picked the King of Hearts. Oh. And look, if you would have picked one more this way, you would have picked the King of Hearts. If you would have chosen the card from up here, oh, oh, actually, sir. if you would have picked any of these cards, so you would have picked oh. the King of Hearts. Oh. <laughs> wow. That, that, wow. Oh, that's crazy. I get that second card. That's yeah. crazy. So the only one you picked wasn't the King of Hearts? <laughs> That's crazy. I need yeah. you. I need you to be your really, pal. This is a really special Son. paper you can, here. You can keep that. Thank you. You're welcome. There right. is. That's a great trick, Dustin. <laughs> Amazing. Well, uh, so, Dustin, you're the most recent winner of AGC. Yes. Okay. Have you seen clips of yourself winning? Dustin Devoe! Yes. I don't like watching back. Why not? Well, because like. It was a super emotional moment. Like, no one ever wants to watch themselves become emotional, right? So, every time I watch, I, instantly, <laughs> you like to watch yourself I love emotional. watching me. Instantly, I just like, I just covered my face and started crying because I was just filled with so many Aww. emotions. I mean, it's great, I'm not like embarrassed, but it's just like, in that moment, I was just, I think the main thing that I felt was just an immense amount of gratitude for everyone who kind of like has invested into my life over the years yeah. because 
I felt almost unworthy because I feel like I was the face of this thing, but there's been so many people behind me for so long, like bringing me to the place that I'm at now. So yeah, I just, I feel like instantly I was just thankful for every single person who believed me and pushed me to keep doing what I do. So. Preacher, you have uh, made light of the fact that you did not win. Yeah, did I make light of that? You will never know what it feels like to lose a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know that feeling. <laughs> She believe in cooties now. Man, I can't stand Darcy. I don't know why. Darcy's an angel. So is the devil, okay? He, I, he cries yeah. to me at night. when no one's at, watching. At yeah. night, in yeah. the morning, <laughs> afternoon. I'm crying a lot. You're still crying. I, I still this, cry. This doesn't help? This doesn't, this doesn't, you know, does, oh, does this help? Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you I like of. the money. It's great. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> the money. yeah, it's great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I would like, <laughs> winning is cool. Winning is cool. I'm the only one on this show that hasn't got a golden bus. And I lost to a 12-year-old. Okay? Oof. A 12 year old ventriloquist, Th she didn't open her mouth the whole time. Big. That's like getting knocked out by someone with no arms. She had every disadvantage, and she still, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What if I flip this? Because I felt like doing it. I'm not going to do it. Preacher, you got into comedy because of a bet you made with your mom? My mom said I wouldn't get on stage, and I was like, I'll do it. And I went on stage, and I bombed. But that's what happens when you first start, and I kept going, and I like fell in love with it. And it's the greatest decision. I've been doing comedy in March for 13 years. So. I mean, you just mentioned the money. You like the money, right? Yeah, the money's I feel like maybe you, maybe you have your mom, your royalties. First off, I, my mom is fine. She's <laughs> doing great, okay? I got her a car, you know what I'm saying? That's it, that's all I got. It, but like, <laughs> it was my car too. I just, I was like, you I don't want it anymore. I was like, I want a new one. All right, one. she got a hand-me-down. Yeah, I, she got a hand-me-down car, but it works, A to B. You know what I mean? How are you guys so close when you came from different seasons? This all, this stuff is all like super new. Preacher is one of those guys, just on a serious note, this dude is amazing. And so in the beginning, I had like a ton of questions. I'm like, I don't know how to navigate all of this. I'm just coming off of the show, and I wish we'd known him earlier, because I think in the beginning, it's easy to do some stuff wrong, so you have no yeah, idea what's going yeah. on. But, um, but yeah, he's been super helpful in just kind of helping me navigate this new territory, because, I mean, it's scary. And with a family, like, I don't want to just make a bunch of mistakes and not know where I should mm -hmm. go or what I should be doing, who I should be working with. So, yeah, he's been an incredible friend. And oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that's you. That's really sweet, guys. Yeah, I appreciate I'm trying to uh, be nice, you know, he's always making fun of me. It's fun. <laughs> you make fun of me way more. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> but I want to be nice, too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's pretty cool how many huge names are in the town right now with residencies, and you yeah. guys are here performing every day. Like, are any of the names like, holy crap, I can't believe I'm performing when they're down the street. The first time, I was like, yo, bro, we got to go see David Copperfield. It's like the best show. This dude is like, he said, who's David Copperfield? That was a good I didn't cover. say that. You, you asked, asked me the who was The sign is right there. Which is why I was like, how do you not know who David Copperfield is? I probably was trolling. You could have pretended to know who David Copperfield was. I because cannot the sign is right help there. but know who David Copperfield, because that was his whole goal, is to be like, hey, guys, this is my hotel. Because his <laughs> name is right there. He got his face on there. He's the <laughs> only hotel. <laughs> the the Lux Luxor has no face. Where's Luxor's face at? <laughs> don't no face. It's the David guy. Copperfield got Maybe his face on there. Maybe you could you guys. I could see you guys being that's on the face saying. of the Luxor. I'm saying. But that's, I mean, that's that's a, yeah, okay. So when uh, when people come, because my abs hurt right now, uh, when people come to the show, what would you like them to take away from your performance other than um, tighter abs? Um, <laughs> I mean, there's no show like this. Mm -hmm. This is this insane. So you're gonna, everything. you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry. Yeah, we got uh, danger acts, danger singing, acts, yeah, you're dancing, gonna, magic. It's everything. Everything yeah. combined. I mean, it's like it's just, and it's every everybody can see this. Like Vegas is like Disney World for grown people, but this is <laughs> it is it is. But like this show is family friendly. How many Vegas shows have family friendly shows? Not many. Where no. you can laugh, cry, have all these yeah. emotions. It's crazy. I mean, it's the best. I haven't seen any other shows here, but this is the best. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. No, but it is, it is cool because a lot of times we'll stand out and get pictures with people and stuff at the end and it's fun hearing people's yeah. stories of where they came from. We met a family the other night. Um, they just found out dad got cancer. He got super sick and they like loved watching AGT. So he mm. sent the whole family here so the kids could have something fun to do to kind of get their mind off things. And so what's amazing is knowing there's like people in here that are in love with the America's Got Talent brand and they yeah. come here to experience that thing that AGT makes them feel, which is like, I think it's just hopefulness. It's like mm -hmm. anybody with a dream has potential to, to accomplish those dreams. For us, like, I, maybe for me, I don't wanna, I mean, I don't know if I'll be offended by this. I was just an average Joe kind of guy wanting to be imagined. I was super average. Well, okay, I, cool. average I didn't know if you get mad at me calling him average. No, no, no. Preacher's no. definitely average. 
So, um, <laughs> all right, thank you guys. <laughs> but no, thank like, you. but I think that's what America's Got Talent does is it takes like normal people and it, and it gives us a chance to do what we've always dreamt yeah. of doing. That's and, why people and, love it because yeah. they're like, they see themselves in us. Yeah. And also the America's Got Talent show, like it's a competition, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, who's gonna win this year? Yeah. But this is like AGT on steroids. You just took the, the last year's winner, this year's winner, the year before winner. You took all these golden buzzers and you took the favorite acts and you consolidated them into one show. So, I mean, you yeah. can't get better than this. Up next, I meet the musical prodigy who stole the judges' hearts and the golden buzzer. You are so full of positivity, Cody. What message do you want to give to others? Live every day like it's your best day and never give up on your dreams. This segment of Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Modelo, a taste that's pure gold, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. At just 22 years old, Cody Lee shocked the world with his amazing voice, expert piano skills, and infectious personality. His passion paired with his undeniable talent earned him the golden buzzer from judges during the 14th season of America's Got Talent. Now he's taking over Las Vegas his way. Cody, it's so nice to meet you. Aw, <laughs> nice to meet you too. Where did your love of music start? I was born loving music. And what made you then want to audition for America's Got Talent? I loved the show and wanted to share my talent with the world. Then you became the winner. What did that moment feel like for you? It was so amazing. I was shocked and so happy. And is it true that you perform rock music, jazz music, R&B, and pop? Do you have a favorite out of those? I don't have a favorite because I love it all the same. Well, speaking of all of those genres, you're now in Vegas with lots of different residencies, Gwen Stefani, Usher, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga. Who would be, if you could pick any of those, your dream duet? My dream duet would be Alicia Keys, Stevie Wonder, or Elton John. You've performed all over the world. Why is Las Vegas so special to you? Because it's where you can make so many people happy, and it's the center of live entertainment. Heck yeah! Speaking of making a lot of people happy, you also performed at Allegiant Stadium during the Pac-12 game. What was that like? It was crazy awesome. There were so many people there, and the sound was amazing. So the Raiders have a saying, and I heard that you have a saying as well. What is it? Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. You are so full of positivity, Cody. What message do you want to give to others? Live every day like it's your best day and never give up on your dreams. Where do you hope to be in five years? I would love to release my album and keep performing for thousands of people. Heck yeah. I know you're gonna perform for thousands of people, but I would love if you could perform something for me. Would you be willing to do that? Heck yeah. Still to come. Oh, cause they will run you down, down to the dark. This segment of Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Coors Light, an official beer of Raider Nation made to chill. Raiders Talk of the Nation has been brought to you by Credit One Bank, the official credit card of the Las Vegas Raiders. Cox, proud partner of the Las Vegas Raiders. And by Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now, only at Allegiant.com. Whoa, Father, tell me we get what we deserve. Oh, we get what we deserve. And way down we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, way down we go. Oh, 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 oh. Say, way down we go. Oh, oh, oh. Way down we go. Oh, cause they will run you down, down to the dark. Yes, and they will run you down, 
down till you fall oh, And they will run you down Down till you go Yeah, so you can't crawl no more And where down we go Oh, oh, oh Oh, where down we go Oh, oh, oh Oh, oh, oh We want to thank our partners at MGM Resorts for allowing us to stop by rehearsal and you can get your ticket to the show at mgmresorts.com. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Raiders Talk of the Nation. <laughs>